All right, gang. So we're at a we're at a house up here in North Gadsden, Alabama. Actually, this is uh, Walnut Park. Walnut Park, Alabama. It's really Gadsden. Got a phone call from a guy that I work with. Said he's got some bees, and uh, at the cross street at the lady's house, they got two swarms. I'm like, heck yeah, two swarms. Um, all kind of different things. We can talk about that. So I get here, and uh, we got a swarm hanging over there in that little tree. But they said, well, there's another one up in this tree. So I know we can't get up there and look at it. But we have a true full-size, live-long, and prosper, happy-go-lucky beehive up there. Now, there is no way I can zoom to right there, but right, right there, right there, right in there. There's actually a beehive up in that tree, and they have swarmed. And the uh, homeowners here have gone uh, a little bit scared and crazy, saying, oh my God, there's a big cloud, didn't know. And we've just spent the last 15 minutes talking all about bees and, and doing a little education fun. But let's walk over here, check this out. So the big clouds flying around the yard, everything's going crazy. The kids are all screaming. Everybody's like, oh my God, bees, bees. And here we go, check it out. What's really interesting is look at, some of those have got pollen still on them. Now I'm taking the breath here for a minute because they are not happy at all. And I don't know why. They are not happy. So let's back off a little bit and let's give them a minute and let's figure out why they're not happy. But I don't think I'm going to be digging my hand into this thing real quick to, uh, to find out why they're not happy. But they are not. And I don't like not happy bees. But I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. They're actually, they're vibrating and they're kind of giving me advance warning that they don't want to be messed with. But, uh, they, uh, they're not telling me why. And I don't know why, but man, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of pollen on these, some of these guys. Lots of pollen on them. Oh, all right, let's give them a little smoke. Let's see how they act. All right. Now the biggest thing we got, biggest thing I'm hoping for right now is just to, to heck, check them out. All right, so they've chilled out some. Now what I'm doing here is I'm hoping really really hoping that these guys will start fanning to the rest of them and tell them hey check it out now watch they're gonna start sticking their butts up in the air they're gonna start they're gonna start fanning they're gonna start telling the other ones hey 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 all right but hey check this out now they're chilling out now let's see if we can get some more nice y'all are being good what i'm hoping for is one of these little handfuls it's gonna have a queen in it if i had to guess she's right in here <clears throat> thicker part of the thicker part of the tree Let's see what we got right here. Let's see what we got right here. Nice. See, they're just they're just as laid back as Christmas turkeys. Can I get up? Oh, got me one. Got me one. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think she's back there somewhere. I really do. Let's see what we can do if we shake this down.
Now, the fact that they're fanning good and that smell's going to get out there, they're going to uh, they're going to start working their way down into this box. We still got to find that queen. Got to get her caged. Let's see what we got right here. There. Nope. She's not right there. Let's check this out. Let's check these out. See if that queen decides to pop up anywhere. Nope. Look, they're marching down. Yeah, baby, they're marching down. How's that for cool? Look at that. See, they're already figuring out that's home. Now, the smell of the comb as well as the fanning of those bees you kind of see the, the, the bees are flapping their wings that's trying to shed that share that smell that hey you need to come down here all right so what else we got in here so many bees so little time now what we can do is Make sure she ain't right there. Now what I can do is, is I can lay this out right here. Lay that out. Check my hand. No queen. And I can sit here and watch for a second while they walk in. They march in that hive, whether or not the queen's in there. I don't see her yet. That's okay. It just makes it more fun. Oh, 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 nope. Oh, man. Almost got her. And one option I've got is... We can take and smoke them down a little bit. Kind of get them running. Get them going down. Yep, let's see if she pops out of there somewhere. Where are you at, girl? Where are you at? Where are you at? Let's go look on the back side. Let's see if we got her back there somewhere. Where are you at, Mama? Where are you at? Well, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. All right, so here's the next option. We could give this limb a good shake and knock them all down in there and just watch the march. I was kind of hoping, kind of hoping she'd show up. I know she's in here. For some reason, this side of the hive is mad. I don't want to be messed with. <clears throat> All right. Let's give this a little shake and see what we get. You ready? Hopefully this thing don't break. There we go. There. Come on, girlfriend. Show your butt. They just don't want to listen. Well, they're saying, they're saying, come on, still. They're happy with this box. These guys, I don't know. They just don't want to pop that tree. Yeah, she must have snuck in on me. Let's uh, let's go ahead and check the box. See if she somehow snuck in on me and I didn't see her. Here's an interesting little look. Look at this. What's this? I got hung up on that propolis. All right. Let's go ahead and look in the box, see what we got. It's a pretty good bit of bees, ain't it? How about that? All right, she's not on the top. So, what I find is when they come in here, they like to go out there to the outer frame. So I'm gonna pull the first, next frame in.
Y'all see her anywhere? I don't see her yet either. All right, so let's take this frame and we'll put it right here. All right, so get that prop. All right, let's look at the next one. Now see, she could be anywhere she wants to up underneath those bees. Anywhere she wants. Don't do that, it makes them mad. Just so you know. All right. See what we got here. Where you at, Mama? It's not there. Look out, ladies. Look out, ladies. Come on. We still got them over there that just won't listen. Well, if that's all the bees that's left, she's in the box. And I need to find her. So I'm going to have to take a break on the video for a minute. Give them a second to settle down. And then uh, we'll go catch her. And then I'll bring, I'll bring her out to you to let you see her. Hold on one second. All right, guys. Sorry I had to put you down there for a few minutes. But uh, we found our girl. All right, so a lot of you ask, how do you know which one's the queen? Well, her abdomen, the backside, is longer than on the other bees. So if I put her kind of down there, you'll see so much how long it is. But look at how they pay attention to her. This thing's got a little hole in the bottom. That little thing's in the way. But anyway, the bees can actually get in there and, and take and take care of her and feed her and everything else. Now, the length of her abdomen, I know it's hard to see. It's telling me that this is the mated queen. She got a big old booty, big old booty, and her pheromones are real strong. Um, some of the younger uh, unmated queens that come out of these things, their uh, their pheromones, to me, in my opinion, are not as strong. So uh, you can end up having three or four of them, and they really don't have major allegiance to them because they just haven't really developed that pheromone yet. But uh, uh, pulled it out. She was on that second frame. First one's right here. But uh, here's what we're gonna do now take this move this sideways just a little bit and we'll set that right there all right I don't think that's gonna work because that cap is gonna be in the way so that's all right I'll just take and put that right there and we'll squeeze her between the frames just like that now let's set this frame back in without messing them up too bad shake it a little bit all right y'all out of the way and we can slide this back over all right slide this one back over and i want that fat comb on the outside and this will be the side that they get to draw and if we turn it around the right way there we go now it'll fit in the box so they got a one piece to draw fresh. Come on, girls. All right, we just want to be real careful setting it in there. All right, there's our queen. Now watch, watch this is real cool. They're all gonna start coming across over here to go to her. They'll fan and let everybody else know she's here. Everything's good. And you notice we don't have any bees left on the tree. Pretty cool. And the joy of getting to play with bees. So we'll set this box right here. Look out, ladies. Slide this over real easy. Come on, get out the way. There it is. So the basic program from here is, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the bees here until uh, dark. I mean, it's only about 10 minutes from my house. So I'm gonna leave the bees here until dark. I'll come back and pick them up. There it is, guys. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Uh, give it just a second and uh, there'll be another one of my videos pop up your choice between the one on the left and the one on the right and I hope you enjoy them but uh, see yep he says hey but anyway we'll talk with you guys uh, we'll talk with you guys in the next one see ya